The race at the top of your ballot has been called. Democrat Gretchen Whitmer will be our state's next governor. We did hear from the governor-elect uh, just moments ago, live in uh, Detroit. Uh, Heather Walker is there for us tonight. Heather? Yes, yeah, she just got done uh, speaking to the crowd here, addressing them, talking with her message about building bridges, not walls, about working across the aisle. Take a listen. Today, the voters of Michigan made a choice in this election. The people have spoken, and we chose hope and inclusion. We chose respect and collaboration, and we chose bridges over walls. Now is the time, now is the time for us to come together and remember that our governor's office does not belong to any one person or any political party. It belongs to all of us, the people of Michigan. Definitely a message of unity in her speech there, but this is a new direction for the governor's office. A Democrat will now hold that office. Brian Marley. All right, Heather with the uh, Whitmer campaign there in Detroit. Heather, thank you. And let's go now to 24 Albany State's Rick Albin. And uh, Rick, it was the race that we were all watching. Uh, Whitmer able to secure that win tonight. What went her way here? Well, I think there were a couple of things that went her way. One is she had a very, very good primary showing. She won all the counties uh, in the state. And that really sets you up uh, for a general election. She had great messaging, clearly. Uh, Democrats had some wind behind their back uh, starting off this election cycle. But you brought up an interesting point just a moment ago. And the question is, will there be an appetite in the legislature to work on some of those priorities for uh, the former senator who will now be the next governor of the state? And the answer is, we don't know yet, because we don't know what the legislative makeup is going to be. It looks like here in our coverage area, at least two Senate seats have flipped. Remember, Democrats would have to flip nine to get control of the Senate. I've said all along I thought that would be difficult. But as you see Democrats running the board on some of these things tonight, and look at this uh, governor's race, 54-43 with that distance getting broader, we're just going to have to see what the makeup of the legislature is. But as, take a quick look at this. This is the way it looks tonight. Four years ago, when the Republicans won, it looked like this. So it's very easy to look and see those counties, including Kent and others, like uh, when you look at Oakland County, when you look at Macomb County, you can see where the change in the race came from. So this is really the tale of the tape, and that's why Gretchen Whitmer will be Governor Gretchen Whitmer on the first day of January. The one other thing I would point you to, and I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but between now and the first of the year, Republicans will still be in control of the legislature. They will be in control of the House. They'll be in control of the Senate, and they've got the governor's office. So there'll be something called a lame duck session, and in that lame duck session, Republicans will still be in charge. We will see if they have priorities that they want to put in place before they leave Lansing. We will see if the governor will go along because he's not always the most political animal. And sometimes lame duck can be very political. But it'll be something interesting to watch because given the makeup of the elected officials that we know about and the potential for some others, Republicans may be leaving Lansing uh, with a, kind of a bad taste in their mouth. We'll see what that lame duck looks like. All right. Something to watch, that's for sure. Thank you, Rick. Now we want to go to Lansing, where within the last hour, Attorney General Bill Schutte, he took the stage to concede the race for governor. 24 Hour News Day's Evan Dean spent the day with the GOP. All right, Evan, what did the AG have to say about the race? Yeah, Brian and Marley, good evening. Obviously, this was uh, not the result that Schutte wanted. He told us earlier today that this was going to be a close win for him. He said that we were going to be here well into the night watching the results start to pour in. Obviously, that did not happen, not even close. Whitmer with a huge win in the race for Governor Schutte, conceding the race before the 11 o'clock hour. So obviously, he, you know, he's disappointed. He said he, he was honored, though, to have this opportunity to run as the Republican nominee for governor alongside his running mate, Kent County Clerk Lisa Posthumus Lyons. But he was asked what went wrong with this race, such a big loss tonight. Here's what he had to say. Uh, it was a tough year, a uh, tough, uh, tough uh, uh, political environment. Look across the country. Uh, it's, it's, uh, there are a lot of bumps out there, right? And uh, some close races, some, some races that didn't go the Republican way. Um, and midterm elections, all those things come into play. It's you know it's challenging, but you know 
that's what this uh, that's what the dynamic of uh, uh, this business is. Now, Shooty did give Gretchen Whitmer a call. Sounds like a real brief conversation. He says he congratulated her, wished her well as Michigan's next governor. As for future plans, Shooty uh, did not say whether he'll continue a career in politics. He said right now all he's going to be focused on is spending time with his family. Back to you. All right, Evan. Yeah, we were talking about that, too. What's next for Bill Shooty? Nice. Uh, Rick Albin suggesting perhaps maybe is something along the lines of an uh, appointment from the Trump administration, but that's just pure speculation at this point. Uh, we'd have to see if he'd be open even to that. Yeah. We'll have to see for that one.